Hello everyone, this is RaySpace here to take a look at how the updated version of Black Rack's Volumetric Clouds works with the Soul Mod by Ballistic Fox. So the Soul Mod independently recreates the system in the game to be the real solar system without actually requiring real solar system. So we do have Earth in the background and we see that Earth has clouds. And without anything else, this view of Earth will have clouds and so we will see clouds in the game. However, uh, they will not appear right, they will not appear properly volumetrically, if you will, 3D clouds. You will not get 3D clouds properly unless you get a fix from Ballistic Fox's Discord. So I've gotten that fix and I'm here to see how that file works. I've already checked how it is without that file. It's earth-clouds.config. It'll go into the Earth configuration folder. Um, hopefully on Discord, the instructions are clear, uh, but I'm seeing what the result of that fix is. So you do need that fix, otherwise you'll basically get 2D clouds. You will still get clouds, I can tell you that. And what I'm going to do is I am going to launch the shuttle. And I'm interested in the performance because in this version, uh, the Volumetric clouds take up twice as much space, and that's really, really pushing things on this particular install. Uh, we do see volumetric clouds. I don't think at in this screen they're looking particularly different from how they did before. We can time warp a bit. Um, they're uh, uh, some some of the way that they are transforming is interesting. All right, here we are, and I'm just going to use Julio Dondi's script per usual. Though I think in this install it might be an old version of the script, so... That's because the one I use for the shell normally is not the Soul System one, it's the RSS Reborn install. Up we go. Surely the shuttle is the best way to test clouds. Serious glow from the engines. Let me just quickly check on the TUFX configuration. We've got default flight active. Blackrack's TUFX actually makes the glow even more substantial. Interestingly, it's practically the only difference between Default and Black Rack's TUFX that I can see easily. So we're through the clouds, but of course we do want to see them in orbit as well. Is how they look right now. It, it, it looks different than the stock look to them. And just to be clear, I didn't put all the folders in. There's one folder that comes with Black Rock's Volumetric Clouds that I didn't put in, and that's the stock scatterer configs. The stock sc the scatterer configs are part of Soul, and so we don't use those. Though, the ocean texture here looks a little bit weird. So that's strange. It looks... Not very oceany, it looks more like land, doesn't it? It's got the debris stuff for land, so something's gone wrong here. And my usual selection is the Hassel Lesser Bloom, which is like this. And then again, Default Flight is like this. And then we'll continue with Black Racks to UFX. But yeah, there seems to be more land here than there ought to be. I don't know if that's just me or that's a soul system thing or I've got something messed up. I didn't see that before, but then again I didn't launch the Galileo probe. I just cheated it into orbit. So I didn't see it from this view before in soul system. It's the land detail texture. It's sort of done it as a block here when it ought not to. So, but this is only an initial attempt to make the things 
mesh properly and certainly the clouds right now that we see here aren't exactly I think what BlackRack intended given that I already saw how it is in the stock system well the promised worlds but broadly speaking the stock system so seeing how it is there those certainly look better I do wonder how it is if I just put the volumetric clouds in real solar system instead of soul system and maybe I'll try that but of course I'd like all the fanciness right the good thing about the Soul System mod, for those who don't know, is that it offers higher quality land textures for the Earth than Real Solar System has. Real Solar System has 16K, and that often leads the coastlines to be uh, jagged or just not very accurate, and you can't see rivers and stuff like that. Uh, whereas Soul System has much better representation of the rivers because it has. I usually use the 64K textures, but it even has 128K textures. But yeah, it's gonna have to take some work to make it compatible with Black Rack's volumetric clouds, it looks like. I mean, we've got volumetric clouds, it's just that the look of them isn't ideal. But that's how it is when. Uh, patch just comes out, right? They're not incorrect clouds. They're they're looking like proper clouds. Actually, the main problem is that patch of land off the coast of Cape Canaveral. I don't know what's going on with that, but the clouds overall are not the worst problem that I'm having. <laughs> Uh, we obviously can't use the system for uh, proper shuttle launches while Cape Canaveral is looking like that. But if we just look over here, do the clouds look that bad? No, not really. The clouds look okay, but they just don't look quite the way they did in the Promised World series and even more crazy things. If we try the Lesser Bloom, Lesser Bloom uh, removes a lot of the contrast that may be a positive in this case. Black Rack TU FX still seems shadier. It has a lot more shadows. So again, if you don't get the patch from Ballistic Fox's Discord, then what you're gonna get is 2D clouds, and actually they look okay. They're not bad or anything. They're just not volumetric, so why would you even have the volumetric clouds in <laughs> at that point? It's just sort of a waste of resources. I will remind people I have an i5 12600K, an RTX 4070, and 64 gigabytes of RAM. Loading this up tends to take about 43 gigabytes of RAM, but that's because I also have a lot of part mods. Performance so far is not bad. But I don't, we're not getting the multi-layer clouds that I saw in the Promised Worlds install. So that could add some more overhead cause a little bit more frame rate drop but though I didn't see much in there either as we separate off the external tank here okay program ended we let me go to my preferred hassle lesser bloom I do have raster prop monitor in here but apparently this cockpit cockpit is not properly configured for it I would like the rest prop monitor panels. That would be very nice. Well, the biometric clouds still audibly make my graphics card do a whole lot of extra work, that's for sure. 
mostly uh, the look of them is about the same as it was in the previous version of Volumetric Clouds, as far as the solar system is concerned. Okay, that's a typical orbit, and let's get into daylight. In map view, the clouds are very bright here. And here's how they are around Hawaii. We can see Hawaii very well. As you, I mean, really, taking a look at the Hawaiian Islands, it's a big difference between the Sol Mod and regular old real solar system. Hawaii looking very nice. So hopefully there will be improvements to the clouds, but at the same time, I mean, uh, improvements such that it's making use of the new features in Black Rack's volumetric clouds. But I'm also worried that making use of those new features is gonna make it more taxing on my system and hurt the frame rate. Right now, uh, my decent system is not too worried, though it makes a lot of sound. <laughs> I, I hear the GPU fan, uh, but yeah, we will see. Hopefully we can get good looks, and maybe I'll have to make multiple trimmer installs with fewer parts to make it all work out stably. We'll see. But just running the shuttle takes a lot, because if you want a good shuttle install, you have to have the International Space Station, you might need a Soyuz for that too, right? Falcon rockets to accompany, well, I mean, not at the same time as the shuttle though. Well, for a little bit, but anyway, um, you have to have all the probes from the US probe pack by Raider Nick because those, half of those were launched by the shuttle and stuff like that. So it all accumulates. Anyway, with the shuttle in orbit here, I'll leave it. I will, I will be doing more shuttle things, don't worry. Uh, but I'm still trying to find the optimal look to things and fix problems with Canada Arm and stuff like that. So, we'll see about all of that later on. For now, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.